What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy with JMED's Brick Clicks. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We've got a lot of tractor videos, farm videos, custom builds, and all kinds of Lego related content. Today I'm looking at a rebrickable model that I found and I think I might be the first to ever do it and I'll be up front with you right now. This was probably one of the most frustrating builds I've ever had in the 30 plus, 35 plus years, 35 at least, plus years of building Lego sets or custom builds. There are flaws, yes. There's a reason why Lego sets, official Lego sets go through quality control because of breaking points, fragility problems, for the most part. This one, it looks amazing. To me, it, it looks great as a completed model. It's a Graham Bradley tractor. These were released in the US. Um, actually, I think they were sold, you could actually buy them through Sears, or Sears and Roebuck, back in 1937 to 1939. So we've got our narrow tire, for, or narrow front tires, our large, narrow, you know, not much of a tread, rear tires one thing i really wish lego would do make these narrow or tall tires with the thinner tire only with the chevron tread pattern so we can do more custom tractors or even the front ones that'd be nice too in that size chevron tread patterns that's what <laughs> that's what i want so let's take a look at this thing now if it falls apart I am not going to be surprised. <laughs> right here, the whole engine block connects to the entire rear end right here on three studs. So if I lift it right here, it's just going to break in half. That's the first big problem. Um, our front tires, they're fixed. There's a Technic pin that goes up through it, and they do not turn. So it's display model only. Our I see this is supposed to come off. I'm afraid if I take it off on camera, it's going to break the whole thing. So <laughs> we'll see. As I get through the video, we might try to do it as I get a little antsy. Really cool front end. Love that design. The top, really sleek, really smooth. Our tires on the back, they're the bigger ones. I've got the Ferguson tractor that uh, it's a remake of the one that came out of the Lego house. The actual Ferguson tractor sells for like five grand. And there's a hundred that are numbered. Only a hundred were made in the world. And each box was numbered. So I have a remake of one. But at least I can do a comparison here in a little bit to show you this one compared to that one. We've got our lights, our fenders. Fenders are an interesting design. I'll pop one of those off. So there's how our fenders are made. Really cool design. And as you can see, you can kind of get a better look in there. Our toolbox. Our differential lock. I had to make a couple small modifications to what the designer had. One of the things that you have to do, you have to buy these red tubes. You can see this one red tube is basically the seat back. You have to buy two of them. And they're like six or seven bucks a piece. And I, it was a hard pill to swallow to start with. And then the first thing you do, you start cutting them up. And you cut them up several times. <laughs> you have to cut them up down here to get the front tires to work with this design. You have to cut it here. Come around here. Uh, let's see if I can get a better angle taking this off. So if you look down in there, we've got a gear shifter. And then our steering wheel is actually part of one. Now they actually had three more pieces and I actually ended up changing them. That's where our pedals are. And our, oh yeah, two pedals on one side, one on the other. Because I could not form them to shape. You can see this one still isn't the best formed I tried and tried and tried. I'm surprised I got this one to look as good as it did. But 
wow, that was a huge frustrating point, spending 30 minutes trying to bend a plastic Lego tube. I gotta be really careful. So we've got our engine block. So here's the, ex the exposed side. I didn't do this side yet. I ended up not buying enough pieces. I guess I didn't, I don't know, check the brick link. I mean, like I took three or four brick link orders and still, but I was done with it. And there it goes. There's the problem for the connection point. Three studs. Your entire bottom is all smoothed out with these slopes. And yeah, that's the first problem. Well, that's not the first, that's one of many. But it does snap together really easy. So I mean, once it breaks, at least you can fix it right away. Am I recommending to build this? No, not really. But if you're a Lego tractor fanatic, hey, it's out there just to let you know it exists. The back end, really cool. The draw bar, our PTO shaft. That was another thing. Um, some of the Lego minifigure tools, you get the little tool kits, you get the wrench, uh, the oil can. It had you add a screwdriver, but it wanted you to cut the screwdriver to make it fit the PTO shaft. So what I did was use one of these little pieces, which are the connectors. I think they're actually made to connect the hoses for the pneumatic system. And it looks the same on the other side, just for that reason. Um, our draw bar, I mean, we can go either way with it. Neat little design. Um, can't complain about that. It actually had a red one there, and I couldn't find a red one on BrickLink. One of these Technic pieces. Maybe I didn't try hard enough, or maybe I, I only looked in the U.S. I didn't want to look in Europe for this design, only because usually anything from Europe takes 30-plus days to get here, 30 to 45. Kind of like when you buy pieces off Lego Pick-A-Brick online, that are not the best sellers that have to come from Denmark in 30 to 45 days, six to seven weeks. So I didn't want to wait that long. I wanted to be truthful with this build so I can show you what we've got. So our wheels turn, you know, it's not geared to anything. So they turn independently they don't move anything like some other models might. Yeah. So I showed you the other side. This does pop off. There's an illegal build with it. Let me see if I can even get it out. Okay. So yeah, there's our illegal build using that, which puts too much stress on the pieces, supposedly. They fit, they work. Honestly, the easiest thing to do here is to use a one by one Technic brick that's got the hole through the center of it and just replace it with that because the only reason you have to use this piece is connect is to connect it to that and that. So yeah, using that, I didn't have them in red. I think I have them in black, but this one's not even exposed. So you could use pink for, <laughs> I mean, whatever. That one is exposed a tiny bit back here, but you're really not going to see it unless you know. So that's there. But yeah, it is cool to be able to take the panels off. And it does add just a little bit more definition to the build. So it's just not a straight up and down. But let me know what you think. Here is our comparison. I'm going to pop this back a little bit. And here's our Ferguson tractor. I honestly didn't know that there were two different size tires. And they're actually totally different tread patterns. I just thought there was one. So I learned something new. This has got this little rake or uh, plow on the back. So there's our our side by side comparison. Huh. Got the stickers off eBay if in case you're wondering. That's yeah. A couple things on here that are not exact, but close enough. Let me know what you think. Would you build this if you had the chance? I think it probably, there was, it was just over five, like 560 pieces, I think. I'll add the uh, the builder's uh, rebrickable page in case you want to take a look at it for the instructions and the pieces. There's a few rare pieces in there. 
so yeah, I, did, I know it's over $100 to build it. Those tires, the rims, a couple clips, $12 in hoses right off the bat. So it, it adds up fast. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.